Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to the RS Clips. I don't think हो गए हम कहाँ spoken about enough, and I'll tell you why I think it's a great film. Uh, I'll also definitely say that a lot of people didn't relate with it. People our age from urban India related to it a lot. Mm. My own um, cousins uh, who live abroad couldn't understand what's happening in the film. Like they didn't really vibe with the film, okay. and um, I have some older relatives, and by older I mean like thirty five, thirty six. Even they didn't exactly understand what's going on, but I think what was shown in the film was a representation of urban Gen Zs in so many ways, and urban millennial culture also to a large degree. Uh, great acting, uh, very psychologically intense script, intense characterization, and. Uh, I personally feel that if I ever have kids and they turn twenty, I'll want to show them "Khoo Gaye Ham Kaha" as a time capsule movie. That this is how life used to be in twenty twenty three or twenty twenty four. That's how nice I think that movie was. I might even watch it again because I think there's layers in that movie. Like yeah. you, you'll pick up something new every time you watch it. People are saying shit like it's the uh, new generation's dil cha aata. I don't think it's that think it's uh, impactful, mm. but it's a great film. Like. Seeing that film gave me hope about what else in the Hindi film industry is going to produce because it was a very culturally relevant film. Oh uh, yeah, I actually really liked it. Uh, I was not expecting anything from it. I thought it was just one of those like time pass watches that I would kind of do. Uh, I was not expecting that film to hit me as hard as it did. Um, you know, there's that scene with Aranya Pandey where she's like trying to avoid her phone and she's like whatever working at her desk. That was just like a little too real, you know. For me, it was how they showed Instagram and Instagrammers, and I know so many Instagram. I'm an Instagrammer myself. It's very apt. <laughs> a lot of the shit they show is very real. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was a very good film. I actually really liked it. Um, and for the first time, I felt that Bollywood produced a film where. Uh, have you noticed how, like, when they're trying to show youth and youth culture and youths, youths having fun? You know, <laughs> there's like a very typical like, oh my god, let's do shots. You know, like that mm. whole clubbing scene, the shots scene, and that's how people have fun, and it's kind of reductive of people and put whatever. It's a that's a whole other like little TED talk of its own. You can open that up. No, in the sense of like, I feel like it sets wrong expectations for people. It shows them that like you can't like if you're not going out and clubbing, then you're not really having fun. And like, I feel there are a lot of different types of people in the world. Not everyone has to do the same thing. That's what I'm saying. It's a whole other thing. Uh, what I liked about this movie is just that um, I didn't really cringe in this movie at like how the youth was being depicted, and like as as a me former member of the youth. like i used to like be like kind of like this is not what we are like and like this film actually felt like a like i don't know i found some kind of representation for myself mm, in that movie mm. like all of us know a character in that movie all of us are a character in that exactly, movie exactly right like i could see parts of myself in like maybe all of them like yeah, a little bit yeah parts of myself in all of them that's so true i'm going to ask you a couple of questions first question is give some must Watch recommendations or movies or shows. Even if you just want to give one or two, that's fine. From this last year, I, for me, I would say "Khoo Gaye Ham Ka" for telling you the truth about at least urban India. Okay, uh, and maybe second, what's another great thing that we watched and discussed? I told you mine was "Everything Everywhere All at Once." That was my favorite movie of mm. the year. Actually, it was there were two movies that were my favorite movies of the year. Uh, "Everything Everywhere All at Once" was for my soul. and um, theater camp which is the other one was for my shits and giggles like it was way too funny and it had no right being as funny as it was as a movie uh, but maybe it's a little bit niche um, i know that not everyone will like it but i loved it everything everywhere all at once i feel should honestly be like one of it should be on those lists of like a movie that you must see before you die yeah i i really believe that give, give some context what's the movie about uh so on the face of it actually the movie is not really about anything basically it's uh, there's a lot of dimension hopping and like being able to essentially take on skills that you might have had in another life uh but at its very core it's kind of a story of like a mother and daughter relationship 
and about like how this woman like uh, like this immigrant mom she's never found a way to connect with her child and then in another universe that child her child becomes like this massive like villain who is trying to essentially end the universe as it is because all she sees of the universe is suffering so um it's a very deep film uh it's a film that actually requires a lot of watchings to kind of get it there are a lot of what the f- scenes in it okay like there's one scene where they're just like two rocks with like googly eyes with like subtitles where they're talking to each other and uh, it's a very like um, if you're not into like the whole like arty thing you're probably going to go like bro what is this but uh, actually that scene in itself is so like nice because even in that they managed to find like emotional nuance so um lo- i think also it had something to do with where i was in life emotionally at that point but uh, i think that movie just like drives home the fact that you can be anything that you want but at the end of the day the only place you really should be is with the people who love you and the people that you love and it has like a really nice message and it's shot so well and it's really funny and it's like heartbreaking and it's it was just an amazing watch i loved it it was like my top pick of the year so if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this it's the artist clips